Welcome back everyone, I'm Zell and today we're going to be printing this vase. It's done in vase mode, double wide, in Prusa Slicer on the Prusa Mini. I'm going to show you how to do it, so let's get to it. First off, I have this file here. I'll have a link to my mini factory for you to get it, but since it's on my system, we're just going to drag and drop it out of my OneDrive right onto Prusa, the Prusa Mini. So let's go through our normal stuff, our print settings over here. We're going to do 0.20 quality. I'm going to cheat that here in a minute because I really want to do it at 0.25, but I don't want it to run at the speeds that 0.25 draft does. And I'm going to show you a way to hopefully kind of cheat that. The filament we're going to use, we'll deal with here in a minute, and our printer is the original Prusa Mini. No supports for this, and infill doesn't matter because we're going to get rid of the infill, or any infill that would have been there in just a moment. So first thing, print settings tab up over here. We go under vertical shells, and we go down here to spiral base. And this runs our perimeters, it gives us a warning. It says the spiral base mode requires one perimeter, no top solid layers, zero fill density, no support material, ensure vertical shell thickness enabled, detect thin walls enabled. And it will turn all those things on for you because it says right here, shall I adjust those settings in order to enable spiral base mode? Say yes. The only thing that you need to do from here is in this section is go to your bottom layers and decide how many you need. And that's kind of up to you. I think I'm going to leave it at four because I like to have kind of a that extra weight in the base just to kind of hold it to wherever it's setting so that it's not just a flimsy thing that flops around. So I'm going to leave that at four. You make your decision there. A lot of people will do two. Uh, you really don't want to do one with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle because it'll come apart. I guarantee you three to four, probably the best place to be. Now we need to do some other changes here. We're going to check speed. A lot of people will tell you to slow down for this. You don't need to. We're going to put some extra heat in the filament, so you're not going to need to slow down. The way this works is you've got perimeters, they say 40 millimeters a second. Oh my goodness, that's way too fast to do this double wide thing you do. Well, the external perimeters are at 30 millimeters a second. That's not terribly fast, so we're not going to sweat the speed, and if it does end up being a little fast, you know, we can start the print over, or we can slow it down from the front of the printer. That's fine. If you feel like you need to slow it down in Prusa Slicer, run this down to say 20 millimeters a second, and then you can use the front of the printer to speed it up if necessary. You know, if everything's running fine, crank it up a little bit and see kind of where you can go with it. I'm gonna guess 30 millimeters seconds just fine. But we do need to go under this advanced over here. Now this is where, if you didn't follow me in the last video and you left it in simple or advanced mode and didn't click expert, this stuff probably isn't going to show up. Let's just see. Yeah. It's just all gone. It is in advanced, but just put yourself an expert. That way you don't have to worry about it. We have default extrusion width, and this is how I do these. I go down through here. I'm going to do default extrusion width. I'm going to leave it where it's at. First layer, I'm going to leave it where it's at because the first layer lays down really good. Perimeters and external perimeters, I'm going to set to 0.8. That is double a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, and that's a really as much as you can push out of a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Don't need to worry about infill or solid infill. We're going to leave those at the 0.45, and what this creates is your first layers will be at, your first layer will be at 0.42. Your second, third, and fourth layer, because we're doing four bottom layers, will be at 0.45, and then the entire perimeter will be at 0.8. So as we've got perimeters and external perimeters set at 0.8, and that should take care of us. If you do have a problem where your bottoms are falling out of your uh, vase mode prints, you can take this overlap percentage and run it up to say 27, 30%, and that should take care of that. I haven't had that problem with the Mini, so I haven't had to worry about it. Now that we've got this set up, we should probably save it as a preset. 
with our perimeters and external perimeters at point eight. To do that, we go up here and we click this thing that looks like a floppy disk to me. Now, so you guys that have never seen a floppy disk, tell me what it looks like to you and don't go Googling up a floppy disk first. Tell me what you think it looks like and then go Google up a floppy disk. Either way, we are going to click it and it brings up save print setting as. And we're gonna go 0.2 millimeter uh, DW face mode 0.42 first layer. And I did that because I think I have one in there that's 0.8 all the way across uh, for everything. So I don't wanna get them confused. And that's why you save it with a descriptive name like this. See, there we go, and now that's what it is. The next thing we need to change are filament settings. Next tab over, just like we did last time. However, we're gonna be running the temperature down a little bit. We're gonna be using some Overture PLA Pro. Now, I don't suggest you do a lot of double wide base mode printing with standard PLAs because most of your standard, relatively dry PLAs will crack and bust whenever you hit them with something, they fall over, and that's dangerous for your pets, your kids, yourself. This PLA Pro from Overture is much more malleable, crazy malleable for a PLA. So we're going to do, uh, we'll go ahead and do 215, and uh, we'll do 210 for the first layer and 210 for the other layers right here and right here. I'm not going to save a preset for this because this is an outlier mode for doing this. I would not normally print at 210 with that material. I would print at 205 or 200, but since we're gonna be pushing so much material through that nozzle, I'm gonna raise it up by five degrees C to 210. I can always change that from the front of the printer if it's too hot, but I think it'll be fine for Overture's PLA Pro. Guys, that's all we needed to do. We, we went through here, we got everything square. We, oh, the getting to 0.25 layer heights. We're gonna go to variable layer height and we're gonna click adaptive. And that's gonna put us all at 0.25. And the reason I did it that way is because if you go to the 0.25 draft, it cranks all the speeds up even more. And we want a really good print. We don't want a draft print. So basically what I did was I, I cheated it. I told it to give me the adaptive layer height knowing that it was going to give me 0.25 almost all the way across. Right up here on the very last one, very last circle, it's going to get really thin, or not really circle, whatever shape you would call that. You guys tell me what shape that is because I'm not even sure. It's going to get a little thin and it's going to be 0.2 on the first layer, which it would have been 0.2 at the first layer anyhow. So that is kind of your little deal, how you can trick Bruce a slicer into giving you what you want. So let's click the slice now button and see if this thing turns into a vase or stays this big ugly block. And there we go, guys. We have a vase mode print. Easy peasy. I am going to send this print to the printer through the send to printer. The OctaPrint inter interface comes up like this. It says uh, page vase because I made the initial one of these I designed for my middle daughter. It gives you your base layer height, PLA, mini, and how long it'll take to print. And you can click start printing after upload or uncheck that and print from the OctaPrint interface. But I'm gonna send this one over from OctaPrint when the current print is done and we'll get a look at it as it's printing.